Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. Today in this episode, we are going to talk about how to create a callout view in Revit. Callout views are typically used to create enlarged detailed drawings from an existing view. For example, you can create a callout view from plan, elevation or a section at a particular junction to create enlarged detail at this point. Let me show you an example. I've opened up this RAC basic sample project file, which is generally available to you as a sample project file in your Revit installation as well. So you can also try to open this up and do this with me. I'm in level number one floor plan view. And from here, I'm going to open section number one. Here, you'll see that there is a callout view already created. This is callout number three, and I'm going to open that up. You will see that this is an enlarged view at one is to 20 and detail level fine to show that part of the junction at a higher level of detail. Within this callout view also, you'll see that there is another additional callout views created. When I double click on that callout view, it takes me further to an enlarged view of that particular junction. So here, this is a typical wall and roof connection where additional 2D details has also been added to it. So not everything in callout view needs to be 3D. For example, this is a 3D wall and this is a 3D roof, but this installation has been added as a 2D component to it. You can also use other annotation tools, for example, detail lines, refill regions, detail components, text, insulation tool, detail groups in order to create further details. Let me show you another example of a callout view. So this is another project where a callout view has been created to show an enlarged part of this junction at that section. So here you can see that this particular wall is a 3D component. However, there is an additional annotation text dimensions as well as 2D components such as these have been added to it. This parapet coping that you see is also a detail item and not a 3D component. It does not really mean that you cannot do this in 3D, but sometimes in certain cases you really don't need to do it in 3D. So how do you add a callout view in your drawing? For example, in this case, I'll go back to my section number one. Let's say I want to add a callout view at this particular junction. I'll go into my view tab and choose my callout option. Let me draw the rectangle where I would like to create my callout view. I can adjust the limits even after creating that callout. When I select this rectangle, I'm also able to reposition my callout tag in my drawing where I need them. I double click on my callout tag to go to that callout. Let me adjust the scale. Let's say I want to do this on 1 is to 25. And let's put the detail level to fine to see all the fine details of my wall and my roof. Now I'm ready to add further 2D details to it. Once you have the outline of your callout view, you can further add 2D components to it. For example, let's go ahead and add some insulation to it somewhere around here. I can also go and in the annotation, add the text with a leader and call this insulation. You can also use any of the other annotation tools to add further details to your drawing. This particular callout head that we are using in this project is showing you the detail number and the sheet number of that callout view. So when you place this callout view on a sheet, for example, let's go ahead and place this, create a new sheet where I place this callout view at sheet number A002. So when I go back to my building section, you'll see here that it's the detail number one and sheet number A002. So it's going to cross reference automatically. If this is not your requirement of a callout head, you can always come back to your callout, edit the type and go into the callout tag. You can also choose a custom callout head family from your library here. You can also try to create your own custom callout head family by going into file, new, family and choosing from annotations folder the callout head family template. The creating a callout head family template is very similar to what we learned in the grid head or the section head that we learned in the previous videos. If you haven't checked those videos out, I'm going to share the link in the description box. Please check it out. Now wait a moment. I want to share with you one more trick with callout views. I'm going to remove this callout view that we just created. Let me go back here to this roof and wall section. Now I already have a typical wall roof connection detail. Now this is the same typical detail that I want to use at the junction here. I do not want to create a new detail drawing, but I want to use the same here as well. I want to simply cross reference this particular typical wall roof connection at this junction. Can I do this? Let's go into the view callout. But instead of creating a new callout view by creating a new rectangle, I'm going to use the reference other view option 
and choose the typical Waldorf connection detail that I want to reference at that point. And now I'm going to create this. You see that I already have a detail number and a sheet number because it's referring to the same typical detail. If I double click here, it's going into that view. So if you have already created a typical detail that you would like to place at different positions, you can use this call out view tool and use the reference other view option in order to create a call out view that refers to another drawing and does not create a new call out view at that point. I hope you enjoyed today's video. In the next episode, we are going to talk about drafting views and how we can utilize them to create our detailed shop drawings. So please make sure that you subscribe, stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.